Magic, curses, and witchcraft have inspired authors to pen many a tale, and in turn, these stories have inspired small screen adaptations. Welcome to Witchway, I'm Elise, and here are my top 10 witchy TV series, in no particular order, that started off as books. 1. A Discovery of Witches This series is based on the supernatural, historical All Souls series by Deborah Harkness. Every season adapts each of the first three books. During her research, historian and reluctant witch Diana Bishop comes across an incomplete but enchanted manuscript which changes her world. It has been sought after by creatures for centuries. Witches, vampires, and demons all believe they have rightful claim to the book, and the vampire Matthew Claremont becomes interested in more than just this. But for Diana, it holds answers from the past, where she must travel to restore the book and ensure the future of those she loves. To do this, she must embrace her power that she has long denied, and Diana is a direct descendant of Bridget Bishop, a woman who was condemned for witchcraft in the Salem Witch Trials. The series not only pulls inspiration from the Salem Witch Trials, but also the European Witch Trials, folklore, mythology, and modern witchcraft. To fully appreciate the research that was put into these works, it is well worth reading the All Souls series, which Deborah Harkness is continuing with the Blackbird Oracle. 2. Luna Nera this young adult supernatural historical novel of the same name by Tiziana Triana was adapted to the small screen in 2020 and follows Ade and her younger sibling in 17th century Italy. Their caretaker, a midwife, is accused of witchcraft following an unsuccessful delivery and is executed soon after. Ade might soon face the same fate as she begins to manifest strange abilities and flees the town with the aid of Pietro. This first encounter will lead to something more between them. Ade seeks the help of other women like her, all outcast because of fear and superstition. They help Ade hone her power and she joins them in saving others who have been persecuted because of their differences though she struggles to choose between her destiny and her heart. This visually stunning series underlines the importance of found family and the series pulls from Italian folklore of streghe or witches and the Benandante, who were said to be able to leave their bodies and fight witches in spiritual form. 3. Sanctuary, a witch's tale the supernatural mystery Sanctuary by V.V. V. James was adapted to the small screen as Sanctuary, A Witch's Tale in 2024. This series has witches practicing openly, and Sarah Fenn is the only registered witch in the town of Sanctuary, helping those who come to her with her craft. But when a fire occurs at a party attended by local teens that results in the death of the town's golden boy, DCI Maggie Knight is brought in to investigate. Soon, accusations of murder by witchcraft are pointed not at Sarah, but at her daughter, Harper. When further information comes out marring the deceased's reputation, his mother Abigail whips up the town into a frenzy, demanding justice, and for murder by unnatural means, the death penalty still stands. This series takes witch hunts into the modern Me Too era and shows how easily people can be persuaded into thinking that different is dangerous. 4. The White Queen Book two of the historical fiction Plantagenet and Tudor novel series of the same name by Philippa Gregory was adapted to a miniseries in 2013. The series takes place during the historical fight for the English throne known as the War of the Roses. Elizabeth Woodville is wrapped up in this war when she becomes queen after marrying King Edward IV. 
Her life and that of her growing family are now constantly at risk with others plotting against them. Her husband's position as king is less than secure, but Elizabeth has magic in her blood. The series has both Elizabeth and her mother accused of witchcraft, which is actually based off historical accounts. The series portrays the magical abilities of these women in a subtle but beautiful way, and shows how carefully they must navigate political waters, else they drown. Book 5 of the series, which continues the story, was also adapted to the small screen in 2017. 5. The Bastard Son of the Devil Himself Book 1 of the young adult supernatural trilogy Half Bad by Sally Green was initially adapted to a series in 2022 as Half Bad, The Bastard Son of the Devil Himself. It has since dropped the title of the trilogy. This series has two warring clans of witches, and teenage Nathan is born of both of these worlds, Half Bad on his father's side. A prophecy foretells that he will be the one to take down his father and put an end to the bloodshed, but Nathan wants to take destiny into his own hands. With the support of Annalise and Gabriel, Nathan needs to unlock his own power and find the truth behind the war. This coming-of-age series is full of adventure and great characters, but was cancelled after only one season, though we can read on through the rest of the Half Bad trilogy to find out what happens next. 6. The Pale Horse this is the third time Agatha Christie's murder mystery novel of the same name has made it to the small screen, this time in the 2020 miniseries. A list of names is found in the shoe of a dead woman. This list includes the name of our protagonist, Mark Easterbrook. Others on the list are dead or soon end up that way, but they all have something else in common. They visited a small town inn known as the Pale Horse and the witches who reside there. Mark pays them a visit to try and solve the mystery, but is left with more questions than answers. Are the witches responsible? And with the nightmares Mark has been experiencing, have they done something to him? And what do they have to do with the suicide of his wife years earlier? This series has elements of folk horror and our trio of witches portray an air of mystery that leaves you guessing their true intent. 7. Rosemary's Baby You may have heard of the 1964 film adaptation of the horror thriller of the same name by Ira Levin, but this 2014 miniseries puts its own spin on the tale. It follows Rosemary and Guy Woodhouse, who have recently relocated to Paris and are befriended by wealthy couple Roman and Margot Castavet. After a fire at the Woodhouses, they are put up in the Castavets' luxurious apartment building. The wealthy couple dote on the Woodhouses, and when Rosemary becomes pregnant, they have everything they ever wanted. Rosemary thinks this is all too good to be true, and soon becomes unwell. Her suspicions only increase when she discovers what happened to the apartment's previous tenants, which leads her to believe satanic witches are after her baby. The book that Rosemary finds in the series is All of Them Witches, the title of which has inspired many other creative undertakings. 8. The Changeling Season 1 of this series is based on the first half of the supernatural horror mystery of the same name by Victor Lavelle. The TV adaptation was released in 2023 and follows Emma and Apollo, who have recently had a baby and are struggling to find their new normal. Emma seems detached and starts receiving strange texts and photos that vanish soon after. When she starts suspecting something is wrong with the baby, she commits an unspeakable act before disappearing. Apollo's world is rocked by the betrayal of his wife, and he wants answers. He needs to find her. On his journey, he starts questioning what he thought happened as he uncovers a strange new world that belongs in folk tales, not in present-day New York. This series is a modern-day fairy tale and takes the archetype of the child-murdering witch and spins it on its head. 
It is unknown at this time if the series is renewed for season two, but if you want to find out what happens next, you can do what I did and read the novel. Nine, brand new cherry flavor. Based on the urban supernatural horror of the same name by Todd Grimson, the series is set in the 90s and follows Lisa Nova, an indie filmmaker. She soon has her film and her dignity taken out from under her by manipulative producer Lou Burke. With nothing left to lose, she enlists the witch Boro to curse Lou as revenge. But the curse is taking more than she is willing to give, and soon, lines between dream and reality begin to blur. If you are ready to complete a curse, you have to be willing to take everything that comes with it. And this bizarre series has Lisa licking toads, being haunted by a creature only she can see, probably because she was licking toads, and vomiting kittens. Yes, you heard me right, and this series takes you along for the whole wild ride. 10. Good Omens The urban supernatural comedy Good Omens, The Nice and Accurate Prophecies of Agnes Nutter, which, by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, was faithfully adapted to the small screen with the series Good Omens, which premiered in 2019. From the creation of the universe, the angel Aziraphale and demon Crowley are sent from heaven and hell respectively, earthside, to sway the deeds of man, but find they are at a stalemate, so do their best to enjoy themselves and each other's company. Until that is, the Antichrist is born, and promptly misplaced. He marks the start of the end of the world, as prophesied by Agnes Nutter, which it's up to her descendant, Anathema Device, and Newton Pulsifer, the descendant of her executioner, as well as our resident angel and demon, to prevent the end of the world. The series is inspired by the Pendle Witch Trials, Witchfinders, New Age Practices, and Biblical Stories, all portrayed with a sense of wit and humour that was the result of its source material. Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett have both written of witches before, and since we are talking about series, I would like to give an honourable mention to Terry Pratchett's Weird Sisters, which was adapted into an animated miniseries in 1997. And as for Neil Gaiman, I haven't included graphic novels in this list as they will get their own video. Some of you may have expected to see The Witches of East End, The Secret Circle, or even Anne Rice's The Mayfair Witches on this list, but this is my personal top 10 based purely on my enjoyment of the TV series adaptations of these novels. There are many witchy series out there, and some you may not even know were based on novels, and usually the book is better. Let me know your favourites in the comments below, and like many of my top 10 here, I may have already reviewed the real world witch lore that inspired them, so make sure you check out my back catalogue. If you like what I do here, you can donate via the super thanks, or you can simply complete your witch way ritual in liking this video, sharing it with anyone you think might enjoy what I do here, or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already to stay notified of my new content. And as always, thank you very much for watching here on Witch Way.